Are you wondering what this whole coaching thing is about? Is it a scam? What is it about? How does it work? Do I need a coach? How will it help me? Stay tuned. I'm Dr. Cindy Sai. I'm a physician turned life coach and speaker, and I love helping high achieving professionals get more of what they want in life through coaching so that they don't have to be struggling or hustling, but rather to have it all with a sense of calm and ease. Make sure to subscribe to my channel below so that you can get more tips to feel better. So today we're going to talk about coaching. First, what is it? Well, I see coaching as a supportive process where you work with a guide to learn tools and skills so that you can get past your challenges with ease. Now, there are coaches in many different fields, whether it's business, relationship, health, life, right? There are also very many um, specialized areas. And so don't be surprised if you see coaches who work with people, maybe um, they only work with people with PTSD within a certain demographic or something like that, right? So there's all kinds of coaches out there. Now, the reason why the coaching industry gets a bad rep is because it's not really as strictly regulated, like say the medical industry. So you don't actually have to take a 12 hour exam to get your license or even any exam really. And so how do you know if someone's legit, <laughs> right? So I think it's important to first get clear on what you're dealing with and knowing that for sure there is somebody out there who is able to and wants to help you. And you can look at certifications, degrees, everything, but at the end of the day, it really comes down to you and what is going to be most helpful to you. So a big piece of coaching is working on your mindset. And what this means is looking at your thoughts and your beliefs. So a belief is actually just a thought that you've thought over and over and over again. And if you think about um, a thought, a thought is actually just words pieced together <laughs> in your brain. So what does this mean? It means that you're not your thoughts. You're just an observer of your thoughts. And this is really empowering because it means you're capable of choosing your own thoughts and creating new beliefs. And I want to introduce you to the idea that our circumstances and the situation that we're in, it's actually all neutral. Now, we have our own thoughts about it and our thoughts actually serve as a filter. And through this filtered lens, we oftentimes develop certain feelings about the circumstance and the situation. And then based on the feelings we have, we may decide to take certain actions, um, behave in certain ways or not do certain things. And then from that point, we will get certain results in our life. So I really want you to realize how powerful your thoughts are. As um, So as an example, right now in 2022, we're in a pandemic and this is a circumstance or situation that we're in that's actually neutral. So stay with me. <laughs> I know it might be hard to think of it as neutral, but just notice that when I brought up the, the word um, pandemic, you probably had some type of reaction to it. It may be negative or maybe positive. Now, most of the time, I find that people are frustrated or tired of being in the pandemic. And then they think the problem is the pandemic, right? They like want to go back to life um, when things were back to normal or, or whatever it was. But they actually skipped a step because it's actually what you think about the pandemic that's causing you to feel a certain way. So when you think that, you know, the pandemic sucks because I can't travel, I have to postpone my trips, or I can't see my family. And then from that thought, that's actually the root cause. 
And then it's making you feel a certain way. You know, maybe it's making you feel really frustrated and annoyed. And, and then when you're feeling that way, you're probably going to do things that you wouldn't do otherwise, like maybe spend hours binging on Netflix or having an extra glass of wine, right? Because what else is there to do? Um, and then the result you get is you probably wasted more time. You didn't do the work that you were supposed to do, or maybe you gained a bit of weight from all the drinking and snacking or whatever, right? And just to show you how powerful this is, let's take the same example, same circumstance, which is the pandemic, right? And now let's say you have a different thought instead. So something like, I'm so happy I get to work from home now. And with that thought, you might feel really grateful and excited that you have the flexibility to work from home, right? That you wouldn't have otherwise if the pandemic hadn't happened. And when you're feeling grateful and excited, you're probably not gonna be sitting on your couch for hours, wasting time, scrolling through social media. And instead, you're probably gonna do things that are really fulfilling and rewarding and maybe more productive. And as a result, you'll get more things done and you'll have more time to enjoy your life. So I hope you see how powerful our thoughts are and how it really comes down to your mindset. And if you're having doubts about whether it's possible for you to actually change your thoughts, I want to reassure you that it's possible 100%. And coaching, it's based in science. Because as studies have shown, our brains are capable of change. You may have heard of the term neuroplasticity. And this is basically where new neurons or nerve cells are constantly being formed and making new connections in our brain. So you can actually unlearn old habits and let go of the beliefs that aren't serving you. You just have to be willing and committed to do it. And that's why it's so helpful to have a coach, right? So you have someone who's there along the way to guide you, to support you, and also to keep you accountable. <laughs> so please don't ever say it's too late. Um, I like to say that the best, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the next best time is right now. <sighs> So um, there are so many studies showing how coaching has helped people recover from burnout and increased life satisfaction because, and you can see why, right? Because when you can unlearn your old patterns and let go of what's not serving you, what's getting in your way, um, that you may have heard of the term limiting beliefs. And that's basically just what we call this, these stories that you've told yourself from the past um, that you thought were true, but aren't really, right? Maybe you have thoughts like, I'm not good enough. They don't like me. I can't do this. You know, no matter what stories you've been telling yourself, I want you to know that it doesn't have to be your reality. It really doesn't. You can consciously choose new beliefs and habits, and you can control your thoughts and rewire your brain if you can choose better thoughts instead, wouldn't you feel so much better? Isn't that the coolest thing? So does coaching work? I may be biased, but it totally does. <laughs> I've experienced it firsthand personally. I've seen it also in the transformation of many of my clients that I've served and also through the work, of all these other amazing coaches, right? So I think it's important to know that there are many different coaches out there with different styles and approaches. So part of the process is trying it out. And many coaches offer a free clarity call for you to connect and see if it's a good fit. And I highly recommend you do this with a few coaches so that you get a sense of who they are and what it would be like to work together. And I want to address the elephant in the room. I know sometimes the investment seems like a lot and you don't want to pick the wrong coach or waste money right? And you're totally right. Coaching can be expensive. I can't tell you how much money I've spent. Well, I'm happy to if you ask me, <laughs> but 
I want you to think about the thing that's been really bothering you, like making your life so hard, harder than it really needs to be. Like if you figured this thing out, your life would be so, so good, right? And you're smart. I'm sure you could figure it out yourself. And that's maybe what you believe too. But my question is, if in one year you're still in the same place, struggling with the same problem, are you okay with that? Maybe you're okay. What about three years, seven years, 10 years? The only thing I know for sure is that time is our most valuable resource. And when I have a problem, I get to work. I may not know how, but I know that someone out there knows the solution. So I seek them out, I get help, and it makes my life so much easier and so much better. I want you to imagine if you could feel less anxious, if you could sleep better, if you could stop being hard on yourself, if you could make more money with ease, if you could feel calm and relaxed, even when a deadline gets pushed up last minute, if you could speak up for yourself, if you could have strong boundaries, if you could have an amazing life that's beyond your wildest dreams. Think about this vision actually being a reality that's guaranteed. It's packaged into a box that you can purchase off the shelf at the store. Would you buy it? I know I would every single time. So if you're interested in learning more about how coaching will change your life, I invite you to book a free clarity call with me. On the call, you can tell me what's not working and I'll share some resources to help you right away. No obligations, no pressure. I'm here to help. If you wanna see the power of your mindset and get some simple coaching tools, make sure to grab my free guide down below so you can create your own calm and join my weekly mailing list. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can get more of what you want in life with ease. I'll see you next time.